Sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Jordan's messages. The happiest day of my life. Why, you ask? Why? Is it because if you become a Blimey Cow supporter and join the cow, the cow community that you get this incredible keychain? Josh just ships it for free to you. As soon as you join, he'll give it to you, $5 or more. Is that why it's the happiest day of my life? No, but it is the happy part of my life, Josh. But do you know why it's the happiest day of my life? Because I don't. Josh told me, Jordan, right, it's the happiest day of my life on the screen. So Josh, I'm waiting to find out why it is. He looked at the questions and told me to write it down. I don't know if it's my life, if it's their life. Who, who, who is the my? I guess we'll find out. Let's get to the messages. Hey, Josh and Jordan. Basically, my girlfriend and I broke up not too long ago. Double O, please. She was the one who thought it best because she felt led by the Lord to break up and that she wasn't ready for a committed relationship yet, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> been there, done that. I mean, I didn't do that, but been there. The whole, it's not you, it's me, me thing. It's me, <laughs> what is it, me, me thing? Now it's been less than a month and she is with some other guy. They're not dating yet, but it seems like they're that where they are headed. I am just having a hard time getting over it. Not only a breakup, but also a betrayal of trust. You got any advice to help me get out of this hole and to forget about all this? Um, yeah. look, okay, only time will heal time, time, time. Time is the best part of your life at this point. You feel like, I, Josh, I can't say it. Can't say it. Can't say it. Said it before, it's too many comments. With one O. Too many comments. And uh, let me tell you, I will not make that mistake again. <laughs> so it will be bleeped. But... Um, look, time is your greatest friend. It's your greatest ally. You think right now time is the, is, is the worst thing in the world. You're like, wow, so much time will pass and I will just get more and more depressed by this. Answer wrong. You won't. You'll realize that that time is an amazing thing, my friend. <laughs> and you know what? You will look back and you will think, well, that wasn't as bad as I remember it being. <laughs> That's what you'll think. So look. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. Okay, betrayal of trust. It, sure, it happens to all of us. Okay, let's let's not overblow this the whole situation. Okay, it's it's a betrayal of trust. It is, Josh. It is. It's it's terrible. But you know what? Who cares? That's life. You know what? Don't let it control you. Wow. We got a long one coming your way. God help me. So I was in my ballroom dance lessons and I was dancing with a new partner. He was pretty nice. We started taking a uh, talking and it got a little fl flirty, but harmless. <laughs> yeah, it really could have been dangerous, but then it escalated very quickly. Oh no. Uh, well, he uh, started making very weirdly aggressive comments. Like I have the right to kill you or Shut up, woman. <laughs> he would also poke me on the side once or twice. This is partially my fault because in the moment, she was pretty close to him. So it is kind of her fault. I'm just, it's a joke, okay? That's what this person, I hope this is not where they're going. Because in the moment, I just laughed uncomfortably. And a death threat, I mean, if you laugh. <laughs> it, you deserved it. If you laugh, if you laugh, it's your fault. Um, oh, okay. Uh, and tried to ignore his statements. Looking back, I should have said something. It just caught me off guard. Although this is the first time it's gotten really weird, I have noticed a pattern of boys being more physical with me than others. Whether it's friendly poke, or, you know, a hug, or an aggressive jab, <laughs> no one, or just a straight body blow, no one has ever hurt me. It happens, she has amazing abs. It happens to me more often than I realize. I like to banter, so I, I so I think I might unconsciously be inviting some actions, but uh, what advice do you... Uh, look, she's taking the blame for this. That's, 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 that I don't need to read the rest of the question. I don't even care what your question is. Hey, Jordan. 
I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Your fault. Oh, I, it was my fault. I laughed. I deserve everything that comes to me because I laughed. Josh could have pulled a knife on me. <laughs> and if I laugh, it's my fault. Oh, now I laugh. Now it's my fault. Now it's your fault. You have to be the- Whoever laughed last, last. your fault. Make sure you make him laugh so that it's his fault. We're using your, your, your logic, okay? We're using your logic. It makes no sense. Okay, look. Are there some weird guys out there? You better believe it. There's a lot of weird guys out there. And some people say, Jordan, you're too tough on guys. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I am too tough on guys. But this guy, there's something weird with him. Okay? I think we can all agree on that. So, um, look, I, I, you, you're gonna find some new guys. Okay, that's that's the advice, I suppose. But look, I don't. who cares? It, this you got to get out of this mindset. This isn't your fault. This guy is giving you death threats and he's body blow, giving you a straight body blow. Did it actually say body blow? No, Josh, oh, okay. but it did. Okay, well, the, the, the fact that I'm, I wondered about that. <laughs> she said that these people do aggressive jabs. Okay, I don't know what that means. That's to me, that's you're in with Mayweather and he's giving you a straight body blow. <laughs> is this the kind of guys that do ballroom dance? Josh, unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Okay, and <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him. This is, this is a world I don't. Know. I had to go rescue Sarah from these people. Really? Josh, I could tell you so many stories. I know that you Just get these overly women. aggressive women at the swing dancing things. I'll tell you that. Right well, now. you, I, you that, I encountered that. Oh, I've encountered that too. But uh, you know what? You just say no. You walk the other way, and I then tried. make sure you don't laugh. Hold that in because it is kind of funny. I was too scared to laugh. I didn't know what to do. I was like, I, I don't know what this woman's gonna want next here. I, I, was, I was very frightened. You never know. I'll tell you what a guy wants next, Josh. And that's where what I'm saying. That's where we have to be careful. Do not blame yourself. Get away from this man and join the community because you know we got some nice people there. Five bucks. Justin, no aggressive you. jabs here. Yeah, if somebody does a ja aggressively jab you, Josh will put an end to that real quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get away from this guy. Seriously, though. So, he sounds like a terrible person. Now, guys, anytime we run a deal like we're doing right now with our incredible keychains, that deal is only possible because our website makes it so easy to do. I mean, we're basically a factory now, shipping out merch to our supporters left and right, and it's all thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace makes it so easy for us to create an online shop, create promo codes, keep track of orders, it's simply the best. So whether you want to start a blog, a web store, a portfolio, or you just want your own website, Squarespace makes it super easy. They have beautiful templates and it's all super intuitive. No matter how basic or advanced you want it to be, your site is going to look amazing. I guarantee it. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, which means that they have everything you need to keep your site updated and looking amazing. You don't need other subscriptions once you start using Squarespace. They have video blocks, which let you embed your YouTube or Vimeo videos right onto your website easily. They have Squarespace member areas where you can put gated content just for members of your website. And you can easily look at your site analytics as well. Squarespace helps us run our business and they can help you too. If you want your own space on the web, do it with Squarespace. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to our link squarespace.com slash cal because there you're going to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash cow. Now, let's get back to the messages. Hey, Jordan and Josh. I'm currently a junior in college. I have never been in a relationship before, and I thought that would change when I got to school, but it really hasn't. At the beginning of my sophomore year, I started having classes with this one professor. I hope to God this isn't going where I think it's going. Turns out we had a lot of things in common. It is, it is, and knew a lot of the same people. Weird, because you go to the same college and they're like teaching it. your friends. That's weird. You know hey, all of the kids you know, in the class. I know a lot of your friends. Huh. Oh my word. We ended up becoming really great friends and he asked me if I wanted to take music lessons with him. I obviously said yes, it was an obvious yes, Josh. So now we get a whole hour, sometimes more, oh. each week to just talk about stuff. I thought you were supposed to be taking music lessons. We hardly get anything done because we are just enjoying each other's company. I really think God is telling me to marry him, <laughs> but I have three semesters left. And he's also 12 years older than me, which really bothers my parents, but not me. He's very single. And I'm pretty sure he likes me back because it's obvious that I'm his favorite. 
Other students are starting to notice because of how he treats me in class. I'm sure the other girls in class think the same thing. Am I crazy? Is this wrong? I don't care how much free music lessons and talks this man gives you. <laughs> I, I, I want you away from him. I want him gone. I want him out of the school. I want him, I, I, I want him to have a nice job somewhere else, Josh. <laughs> I want him to have a happy life. Away from young girls. But I want him away from young girls. Let me tell you this, okay? If I was a professor in a college. This happened at our school. It did, Josh. Okay, it did. <laughs> the, I'm wondering if this is this person. <laughs> if this He's is, at it again. He is. I don't know where he went. He got, he got fired. He threw a television out a window or something. He's gone. He's, he, did that happen? Dude, he was like breaking things and like threw something. Really? Hmm. He did. I don't know if it was a TV, but <laughs> look, it was, but it was something like he, he would like broke something and then he left. Oh, wow. It was a big deal. It was a big thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, so look, this is from personal experience, all right? This was a small college, all right, that, that we went to. So this was, like, kind of a thing. Um, this is bad news, okay? I'm going off of one experience, but it was very, uh, you know, in my mind, so he's gone. You, you're done with him. Forget about it. I don't care if you want to marry him or if you think that it is God telling you. He's not telling you, okay? He's not. I'm just going to be honest with you. He's not. So he's done. He's gone. You might even report this man uh, or have look. Okay. Trust your parents on this one. Okay. If I had a, if I had a young daughter and she comes home from college, you know, I'm paying for her to go. And then she goes, there's, you know, there's this professor. He's giving me free music lessons. We have the same friends and he's 12 years older. I would say, where, where could I have done better? To make your mindset not be where it's at right now. And that hurts. That hurt to say. But I honestly, I'm being honest. That is what I would think. And that, I'm telling you, that is what your parents are thinking right now. And you don't want them to think that. You don't want them to feel that way. And honestly, right now, they kind of have a little bit of a right to feel that way. A little bit. Okay, we're not trying to be too harsh here. Is this a, is this a, is this a supporter, Josh? No. We're, okay, we're trying to be well, a little harsh. Potential support. Five bucks. <laughs> and Josh will send this to you if you join the game. I'm telling you, get away from this guy and join the community for five bucks to make sure that you get this amazing keychain. And Josh will send it to you. And there's tons of great amazing very single people there okay just get away from this guy please I beg you that last question man it was just weighed on my mind <laughs> okay let's try and pep it up here okay this is a small question I think we're just gonna be good dear Jordan and Josh I daydream a lot and when I do I get anything done anything done Oh, and when I do, I get anything done. Is that what she means? Or I don't get anything done? I'm guessing she meant to say don't get anything done. Oh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> anything. Or don't anything. I, shoot. Who knows? Currently being homeschooled. It's not a good thing, but that's not what I'm asking about. Right now, that is... Okay, this is the most convoluted question. <laughs> See, I daydream about superheroes and... Guys. I feel like a creep and a total weirdo. No shirtless guys, LOL. <laughs> Only on messages. <laughs> but the characters do tend in her mind to have romantic feelings towards one another. Not towards her, but like one another. And the main heroine is loosely, oh, loosely based on me. Well, or a more perfect me. And I've, I've, I've even written down some stories thinking I may turn it into a, like a romance novel because writing is a certain passion for me. But is it wrong to do this? Either way, a second opinion would be most helpful. She's causing herself to stumble with these I, hot superheroes. I don't... I don't <laughs> think... I, I, I'm... I think... Here's the problem. <laughs> every, every question is this, like, weirdly innocent thing that is, like, strange. <laughs> and it's, like, 
is this a problem? <laughs> is this something that I'm doing morally wrong? It's like, it, I, I don't really know if it's morally, it's just kind of, it's just kind of strange. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, forget the moral aspect yeah. of it. It's just, it's a little, it's a little odd. Now, now, I mean, honestly, but do, like this could turn into an amazing romance novel. That's the thing. Sometimes the, the oddities that people do, like they dream up these things. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe you're a genius. That's what I used to do. I used to make up TV shows in my head and I was the star of the TV show and I had all these storylines that do, play out in my head. Well, there I you go. I feel guilty about it. I had a girlfriend in the show. Yeah, so there you That's go. Great. And, and look, now we have blind, we have blind cow, and that every, it all worked out for us. So look, okay, maybe maybe you are the girl version of Josh <laughs> in the past. Look, honestly, if this is what gets you going with this romance novel, maybe oh. just start the romance novel, okay? What's the pro What's the problem with the rom a, a nice innocent homeschooled romance novel, Josh? What's so bad about it? It can't oh, be the worst thing in the world. So many things. Maybe it will propel her to write something bigger and better. But if she's passionate about herself dating a superhero, who cares? Okay, <laughs> just, just write something down. People think that they have to start writing their most grandest thing ever. The if you're interested, you don't don't do that. If you're interested in writing something, just write in what you're interested in. If it's this kind of strange like thing where you're dating a superhero. Here, okay, write that. It'll make you get better, and then you, next thing you know, Josh is in blind and calm. We're here, okay? Just keep the shirts on the superhero. Keep the shirts on the superhero, and if they don't have shirts, just knit them together a <laughs> bunch of these uh, amazing, and then just put them all in a line, and then uh, in the story, and then you just join for five bucks or more, and then you get it for free. <laughs> Jordan, people sometimes in the comments say that we shill for our. Support what does shill too much. What does shill mean? Uh, that we're just constantly promoting it. We are. <laughs> and I will blatantly say that. Look, okay, you, do you want to try and make a YouTube channel and, and see how, how long you can do it for? Okay, you got it. This is a part of our lives. The community is everything. Okay? You, you're sitting here, you're watching messages, and you're like, I don't know, I mean, I watch messages. Oh, is this a good title? Sure, I'll watch it for like five minutes. Okay, what, what the heck? The, the Calmunity people, they're there, they're there every single time. They're watching the bonus messages that's gonna come up next that, oh, because you're complaining, you're not gonna get it. You <laughs> wish you could get it. You didn't even know because you don't even watch to the end. Does one still make videos? I used to watch them. Oh, I used to watch them. Oh, I remember their seven lines about homeschoolers <laughs> video. That one was cool. I used to, do they still make videos? Yeah, I, I've heard that conversation <laughs> a million times. People walk up to me and, you know, that's fine. They walk up to me. I love meeting people. Hey, uh, oh, I used to watch your videos. <laughs> remember that one about the worship song? Seven Lies about, yeah, I remember that when I did it. Seven Lies about homeschoolers? Yeah, no, that was a great video. Like, I, it, those were great videos. We're still here doing messages. The Lord's work every single day. And yes, I will plug my incredible stuff because it's amazing and I use it. Josh gave me this amazing candlelight college t-shirt <laughs> that I'm gonna promote in the next Messy Monday. So yes, I will promote it, and I don't care if I shill for it. I will shill every day. Do you understand? <laughs> don't be messy, because you are, clearly. <laughs> and don't leave messages if you are you, but if you're, if you're a community supporter or if you're somebody super nice to me, thank you, and leave good messages. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. Am I coming in clear? Hello? Finally, I got my webcam working. Let me ask you a question. Are you sick of how messed up everything is right now? I know I am. I've barely seen my friends in years. Well, guess what? I have a plan to fix things. <laughs> More details soon.